and now it's uh, ask uh, for some privileges uh, like uh, confirmation uh, i just click on yes Okay. Um, uh, installation location. Uh, you are just no need to change. Install. And now setup is completed, and uh, my uh, as well my studio is completely successfully installed. And now just click on close this button and uh, just close this. Also, uh, after the installation process is complete, now just it's time to check your as well the new studio. Uh, just open your window and type SSMS National Menu Studio and open it. Okay. Uh, now uh, it's showing a prompt uh, connect to a server. Uh, server name already given default and authentication is window authentication. And you know. Uh, that uh, in in the setup process uh, we don't we don't give any type of uh, authentic username like password. So uh, by default is installed on uh, Windows authentication. So just you click on connect and it will connect automatically like this. And for quick testing, uh, I'm just type some random. Uh, like uh, use master. Okay, so it's working great. And now uh, we disconnect this and connect again. And now it's time. And now in this time, uh, I want to connect to it SQL Server authentication. Password is SA or use login is SA and password will be 1234 and just remember password and connect exception uh, like warning or error something uh, some like that so just ok and now uh, you notice that uh, we don't have SQL server authentication account so just uh, I know now it's time to create a new SQL Server Authentication account. Create a new account. Like uh, so, first you you go on, you select again with authentication and hit OK. And uh, right click on your database and uh, properties and uh, go on security option and uh, by default it will be windows authentication mode uh, just select sql server and windows authentication mode like mix and press ok continue and uh, sometimes it uh, will uh, give you uh, warning uh, that uh, for changes uh, you need to restart your database for restart your database uh, right click on your database uh, server like uh, server and uh, click on restart button it will uh, ask uh, some confirmation click on yes and uh, yes and it take uh, like 2 minutes or restart your SQL server uh, ok so now its icon will be uh, is green. So that means your database, uh, your server is start working now. Now click on security and login. So for this, just click on plus and for this, right click and go on properties. And this password will be one two three four. 
one, two, three, four. And then he try and enforce password policy. Server role, uh, okay, fine. Um, user mapping, okay. Uh, status will be enabled. Login, login uh, will be enabled. And uh, okay. Okay. Uh, now uh, the icon will be gone. Will gone after this. So now uh, connect again uh, with SQL authentication. So disconnecting it and uh, connect again and uh, choose SQL authentication. Username as a password is one two three four. Connect and boom. It connects. Now that's this on the story. So that's it for this video. I hope you like this video.